myself the button was uh, not uh, okay enabled. okay now okay. you are uh, um, you have done okay. it successfully please go ahead the floor is yours take to the time okay uh, okay i'll try okay so um, i hope uh, everybody can see my screen um yes yes that is visible okay okay so let me begin uh, so my talk would be on the role of artificial intelligence in disease control and prevention and uh, it would specific be, uh, be uh, in today's scenario uh, to the pandemics and uh, COVID-19. Uh, so generally AI in healthcare has a vast number of applications um, starting from diagnostics where we use deep learning to detect a disease through uh, image, uh, imaging data, for example, CDs and X-rays. Then uh, AI is also used in resource management uh, in uh, all walks of life and specifically uh, in healthcare, for example, in intelligent and adaptive uses of hospital facilities, medicine distribution, uh, which uh, could be learned through data driven modeling. Then uh, another use case for AI in healthcare is predictive health monitoring, uh, then AI based staging and grouping of patients uh, based on risks, uh, disease prognostics and uh, uh, trend analysis, uh, specifically in uh, epidemics and pand pandemics. Uh, so today I would specifically uh, folk, um, limit myself to talk about uh, disease prognostics using AI. Um, so here uh, we see a, a diagram of where, how we could uh, uh, deploy uh, AI and data uh, analytics uh, for the mortality, mortality analysis uh, of uh, uh, patients. So uh, they, uh, in that, uh, data is collected from patients, it's pre-processed, uh, then a model is trained based on the, where, when uh, there is supervised data where the, all the informations of the patients is available. Then once the model is trained, it could be used to predict uh, the mortality rate for future patients uh, and uh, different factors could be uh, used to explain uh, the, uh, uh, dependency of their conditions uh, and so on. Uh, uh, in that, uh, AI basically provides an intelligent decision support system, uh, which is a data-driven smart support system which provides ways to inhibit morbidity rate of COVID-19 in target population. Uh, it can improve survival rates of patients uh, category-wise uh, based on their uh, risk groups. Uh, uh, it uh, can provide mechanism for prevention of infective diseases to high risk in general population. And it can also helps, uh, help clinicians and policymakers for devising effective strategies. Uh, so before going any further, let's uh, define a few factors that are very important uh, in the analysis of uh, disease prognostics. Uh, first uh, one is morbidity rate which is the risk, risk of getting a certain disease by general population or uh, particularly high risk groups. Uh, we can mathematically define it as uh, the number of uh, uh, people who got, got the disease divided by the total number of people in the population. 
and it can be inhibited by preventive measures such as limiting mobility, contact with patients, wearing masks, uh, improving hygiene, etc. Then on the other side, we have uh, another factor which is called survival rate. Uh, survival rate is up to Please play your slides. Your slides are not moving. Uh, okay, so which slide are you seeing now? You are on the first introductory slide. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So let me see if... Okay, yes, yes, it has started, it has started moving now. But it's, it's not, it's not in full screen, right? right. It is not, no. Okay, okay, so <laughs> let me try if I can... Um, Okay. Uh, um, le let's see if we can work with the, uh, this. It's uh, a smaller window, but um, uh, most of uh, the part is visible. So uh, I was talking about uh, the. Just a minute. <laughs> Are the slides changing now? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, uh, you have consumed almost 70% of your time. Okay, okay. Uh, so, sorry for that. So, I'll, I'll just go quickly over uh, the remaining slides. So, uh, another important factor is the survival rate which is basically the, where the population is uh, all patients and, uh, uh, and uh, it's a ratio between the patients which, uh, uh, which are survived uh, after a certain time. So uh, then we have progressive survival rate, which is uh, uh, in real time, um, a time series uh, where uh, the, the population is uh, the current patients and uh, the, uh, the number of uh, survived patients at current time. So we can, uh, uh, AI can help us categorize patients based on risks. So for example, we can uh, cluster them uh, based on their um, uh, different features uh, into, uh, and con um, into groups uh, between high risk and low risk. And uh, then uh, uh, an intelligent clustering would help us identify um, the uh, preventive measures are the um, uh, solutions where we can uh, actually uh, make this curve uh, better. So that, that could uh, mean the treatment of disease and control groups, medicine therapy, um, oxygen therapy, uh, and the data that we would use for this would be demographics, vital signs, uh, oxygen saturation levels, uh, prayer clinical history and, uh, and conditions. Um, uh, and then uh, the system can provide uh, pre uh, preventive measures which could pro progressively would, uh, learn from the data such as masks, uh, inhibiting or limiting physical contact, PPE, uh, uh, and vaccination. Uh, uh, here is a, um, a basic diagram of uh, this, uh, such a decision support system where uh, some static and dynamic features from the patients are uh, processed uh, integrated, processed, and then given to um, a machine learning uh, or a deep learning model, and uh, then uh, a uh, ex an explainable decision support system is created uh, uh, through training. Uh, in summary, uh, the proposed intelligent decision support system provides improved survival rate, uh, the patients and population clustering according to risk groups, uh, working preventive care sought, uh, sought out, uh, it, it can also be used to inhibit morbidity. Uh, it, uh, they are dynamic and adaptive uh, and could be used for dynamic and adaptive resource allocation, uh, for example, clinicians and medicine uh, and vaccine administration uh, priority lists and groups. Um, uh, thank you all uh, very much. And uh, uh, for any further discussion, if anyone uh, on this forum wants to collaborate or wants to uh, know uh, more about the use of artificial intelligence, 
in uh, in uh, in uh, in, uh, in uh, targeting pandemics uh, i can be contacted uh, at uh, this address thank you thank you dr farhan khan thank you dr farhan khan about the disease prognostics using artificial intelligence and he claims that this artificial intelligence can provide the intelligence support system that can help the policy makers and that's the prognosis of the disease at the national and the international level thank you dr farhan for being on time by